and a half years have passed since ground was broken for the Capitol Visitor Center. It would be nice to have a center like that open right now because I'd be over there. The center was slated to open in 2005, 2006, and 2007. Instead of opening last month, the unveiling was pushed again to August of 2008. The never-ending center. Representative Debbie Wasserman Schultz chairs the subcommittee responsible for oversight of the CVC. It's clear to me that because they lose two weeks for every month that passes, we're going to be hearing about another delay uh, very shortly. A spokesperson for the architect of the Capitol defended their progress, saying the cost of the original visitor center has gone from $265 million to roughly $300 million. In total, the project is expected to cost $600 million. That's a $335 million increase from the original estimate. The AOC says the extra cost is due to additions made to the original plan, like hearing rooms for the House and the Senate. Those and other add-ons have contributed to the delays, as have the security changes made after 9-11. You know, we've long ago uh, been aware of those security changes and made them, and we're still going through needless delays, uh, hopeless, uh, hopeless cost overruns, and incredibly bad mismanagement. With 91 percent of the center complete, there's no turning back now. Schultz says the only answer is... Intense oversight. I mean... That's what Congress's role is, and it's a role that should have been asserted prior to now, but unfortunately it wasn't. Once construction is actually finished, there will still be more work to do. Employees will have to be hired, and fire security, air conditioning, heating, and ventilation systems will take months to test. Reporting for The Politico, Nicole Collins, News Channel 8.